one of the most challenging diseases today in the world in terms of number of patients is tuberculosis. Today in the world there are two and a half billion people with the TB, with tuberculosis. Out of these, 250 million have active TB and out of which few millions die every year. During the development of the nanos, we have examined a new type of sensors that are quite sensitive to pressure. We have started to think about the integration of the nanotechnology into the so-called electronic skin device, or in other words, a device which imitates the skin of the human. Today, the most important application is to take these electronic skins and to utilize them to help the diagnosis of disease uh, in affordable way, mainly in a way that could be implemented in the developing countries where people rely in their living on one dollar per day. The electronic skin is a kind of patch which you can stick either to the inner part of your arm or to your chest. And then the patch will interact with volatile organic compounds which are emitted from the infection disease to the bloodstream and with machine learning similar to that of the electronic nose we can diagnose, detect and discriminate between the different types of infection disease. So in collaboration with the Gates Foundation we started to take this technology for diagnosis of tuberculosis. And we have found after a proof concept uh, research and development that we can, with our electronic skin, provide such a solution for the developing countries.